Why do you have like seven different USB cables around your neck? To demystify this Xiaomi 33 watt charger. Now there's been a lot of people talking about you need to use the stock cable. You need to use a USB 3.0 cable. No, you need to use a one meter cable. And today we're just gonna cut through all of the bullshit. I have a variety of cables to figure out what cable or what combination of cables you need to utilize the 33 watt charger for your Xiaomi device. Now, I am using a Redmi Note 10 Pro, but this applies to the Poco F2, the Poco F3, the Poco X3 Pro, the Poco X3, and any of the other Xiaomi products that utilize, Xiaomi or Redmi products that utilize the 33 watt or the 27 watt charging because this charger from Xiaomi originally came out on the Xiaomi Mi 9 uh, at 27 watts, but these chargers will supply 27 watts to those devices uh, so that you can reach that. Now, we've got some notes because we need to get nerdy for a second. Nerd alert! And talk about the different voltage and amperage combinations that Xiaomi is using to get the 33 watts. Before I jump into this, you guys need to follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna be posting more short tidbits of these videos on that Instagram. If you guys are on Facebook, I have TechFluent, which is this new project I'm working on where I find products like these cables that you might wanna buy. I'm trying to find them for the best price for you guys. I'm having a searchable buyer's guide with all of the different places that you can buy them. So. Hit the links down below. If you guys wanna chat with me like one-on-one, -on -one, you got questions, at me on Twitter. I'm super, super active on Twitter. And then, before I forget, Discord gang, shout out. You know what we do, baby. To get nerdy, we have five volts, three amps for 15 watts. We have nine volts, three amps for 27 watts. We have 12 volts, 2.5 amps, and I'm bad at math, so I think that's 27 watts. We have 20 volts, 1.35 amps, and then we have 11 volts and three amps. And there's been a lot of confusion about you need to use the stock cable or does this cable work or does a USB 2.0 cable work or no, it's only USB 3.0. First cable on here is the Basius magnetic charging cables that you guys know that I use. These cables are like MagSafe for your phone. They are awesome. I've been using them for two years. In that two year period of time, I've beaten a bunch of them up. I've had one fail on me. I had one cable that was dead on arrival, but overall, I think the quality, like the, the, the standard of quality for these is up there with Ugreen, Anchor, um, just to name a few of my other favorite like cables companies and accessory companies that I use. This is the Basius Magnetic Charging Cable, my Redmi Note 10 Pro, 33 watt charger. And we have Quick Charge. Will it give me, now I've been able to get this to activate the 33 watt charging, but it's been kind of inconsistent to do so. Fast forward to the part in the video where I have it working. Moments later. Here. So, as you can see, Basius Magnetic Charging Cable. This is the 33 watt Mi Turbo Charge and it works fine. These ends, because they're magnetic, get kind of dirty and if they're dirty, you won't get the 33 watt charging. I had to clean this before filming this video to get my 33 watt cable charger combo to work. But to answer that question that I get a lot, yes, the Basius cables work great. It saves your charging port. This is a win. The stock Xiaomi cable, which is kind of a chonkier cable. You already know this is gonna work. Xiaomi 33 watt turbo charger. Now this turbo charger animation shows the other smaller animation thingy. I don't know if it's because this is at 33 watts, the other one's at 27 watts. Both of them say me turbo charger. And yeah, next one. This is a Basius uh, two meter long charging cable. Now, these cables, 
Uh, if you guys don't know, Basius is kind of part of the Xiaomi umbrella of brands. These cables are 100% identical to the ZMI, Z, yeah, ZMI, which is a Xiaomi brand company. These are identical to the ZMI cables that they sell at the Xiaomi stores here. Let's see if this one works. No. So we have quick charge. So we have 18 watts, but we are not activating any of the Mi Turbo Charge technology. One thing I forgot is that the Xiaomi devices, even the Mi 10 Ultra, um, that still uses USB 2.0 for data transmission. So this is not a USB 3.0, USB 2.0 thing. In my Discord community the other day, we were talking about whether or not you could find a two meter cable that gave you the 33 watt turbo charger. Basius 65 watt, two meter charging cable. This is a uh, USB, or this is a Thunderbolt to USB-C, uh, or this is a Thunderbolt to USB-A, USB 3.0 adapter on a 65 watt USB-C to USB-C cable. We have quick charge, but we do not have the Mi turbo charge. And remember, this cable is rated at 65 watts. This cable should work if it's a three amp, or three, three amp, 20 volt combination. Um, but obviously the USB-C uh, power delivery standard is a little bit wacky. Uh, this is a really, really cheap, inexpensive, USB-A to USB-C cable that I got with my Xiaomi toothbrush. This one doesn't even support the 18 watt quick charge. This is a one meter long USB 3.0 anchor cable that I use for attaching hard drives. Let's see if this works. There we go. Mi turbo charge, but we're not getting the same Mi turbo charge animation that we were before, which leads me to believe that this is supporting 27 watts, which is what Xiaomi also has branded as turbo charge, but is not supporting the 33 watt that uh, you get out of the box with the cable. But this is charging rapidly. Ah, before I forget, I gotta clarify something. This charger from Xiaomi does not support Quick Charge 4. I know that's gonna be a question because Quick Charge 4 is supposed to support up to 27 watts and this is not a Quick Charge 4.0 charger. So whatever rapid charging standard Xiaomi is using, uh, yeah, it's their own proprietary thing. Okay, this is a Basius 100 watt, so five amp, 20 volt, yeah, five amp, 20 volt, 100 watt USB-C to USB-C cable with my USB-A to USB-C dongle that I use for Thunderbolt and hard drives and stuff like that. Let's see if this works. We got rapid charging, quick charge, me turbo charge, but it doesn't have the other it doesn't have, oh, there goes my computer. It doesn't have the other animation. So that's all of the cables that I have. What does this tell me? Well, this tells me a couple of things. First is that we have two charging protocols from Xiaomi that activate the Mi Turbo Charge. Uh, one of them is 11 volts, three amps. That one seems like it is, uh, the the, th the 11 volt three amp, that's the 33 watt charger. That's what gets the animation to pop up. But apparently there is another charging protocol from Xiaomi, whether it's the 12 volt two and a half amp or the 20 volt 1.35 amp uh, charging protocol that activates Xiaomi's other turbo charger, which I think is 27 watts. But either way, there is something about this stock cable that is giving us the ability to have 33 watt charging, uh, which is what Xiaomi calls turbo charge, 
But at the same time, we have another protocol that Xiaomi also has deemed to be 33 watts. Um, if we have some smarter than me electrical engineers that want to explain this, that would be great. But my biggest problem with Xiaomi's whole charging ecosystem of things is that this 33 watt standard from Xiaomi is not based on any quick charge standard. It's not based on any kind of uh, dual cell battery technology. This isn't a newer type of charging tech. This is just Xiaomi shoving in more uh, voltage instead of more amperage, where with BBK devices, like what we have from Oppo, Realme, and OnePlus, and Vivo, they, and Aiku, we have more amperage being shoved in, which is why all of those charging bricks, being this part, that's why all of those bricks get hotter than, uh, than the Xiaomi brick, because they are doing the higher amperage transmission at the charger or with Super VOOC and anything over the 30 watt dart charging standard, they are actually separating the streams of power into two, uh, two separate streams to charge the two separate cells so that they can keep the device cooler, get the charging brick hotter, and that means less wear and tear on the battery. That means better battery health for the long run, as well as being slightly cooler in operational situations because we have two different cells getting hot instead of one main battery cell getting hot. So that heat is more evenly distributed when you're charging the device, when you're using the device, which is why potentially we see batteries from BBK having a longer operational lifespan because the there is a there is a less the battery operates at a cooler temperature and the heat is better dissipated. And so that is going to answer your questions for which cables, what you can use with this. Basically, Xiaomi hasn't told us what this 33 watt secret sauce is. Uh, I don't even know if you can buy replacement cables for, for this, which sucks because for Oppo, you can get replacement SuperVoot cables and Oppo has licensed that technology. Um, for the Xiaomi 30, or for the, for the Basius cables, you can get a SuperVoot Basius charging cable that gives you the, the BBK gang that advantage. Xiaomi has not publicly stated this, which is leading me to believe that this cable is has something in it that allows for the 33 watts, whereas all of these other cables are capping out at 27 watts. I don't know if it's an electrical resistance thing. I don't know if it's a uh, if it's a gauge of wire thing. If it's a higher amperage. If it's a higher voltage. If you guys want me to do more experiments about this, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit me up on Twitter. And until next time, check out all of the stuff I talked about before. Peace.